All right, Warrior. Yeah, this will probably be the last 15 minute call before uh, before they do yard recall right now. Yes, so sir. Go ahead and run it, homie. All right, so uh, so yeah, like I said, we could tell that there was tension in the air, and we could see Revito and Sporty and Green Eyes conversating, and they kept looking over towards the blackest area. And uh, me and Kid are already on our toes, like, hey, I feel it, feel it, something's gonna go down, you know, it's like something's wrong, and especially because that Mexican fool, which he looks like a homie, he's also sitting at the, at the blackest table is a no-no and that's what i've learned from doing time too you know that we don't like anybody that i saw running black you know like they think they're from a black hood or whatnot and try to come to prison and run black it's not the way politics work so sure enough i see uh the Vito, green eyes and sporty go up to talk to a homie which i find out later on is bouncer from Southside bakers anyway they go speak to him and then she, I'm watching them, right? I'm looking at them, and then I see all of their heads turn directly at me. I see all of their eyes make eye contact with me, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Like, I'm, I'm thinking, did I do something wrong? You know, like, what the fuck? And all three of them are walking towards me to the back of the day room, and my mind's running, like, oh, what the fuck was cracking, you know? Like, and, uh, anyways, all three of them walk up to me, and, uh, they tell me, hey, what's up, Warrior? Your name's Warrior, right? And I'm like, yeah, they're like, what's up? You want to go on a holiday? We got something uh, uh, that needs to be done, and we figured we'd bring it to your attention. And I, I wanted to show them no type of hesitation, no type of fear, no nothing. Like, shoot it. What needs to be done? But now, on another note, while I was in the county and I asked a lot of questions from a lot of different types of homies on how to go about things and how to go about how it is, I always learned every time I asked questions was that you ask a lot of questions. You ask, why Why is this how to be done? Why is he getting smashed? Is it a big other or are we just smashing her out? And, and, and because if we go to the back, I need to be able to explain all this. And uh, I just asked as many questions as I could, like, why is he, what's going on? So why is he getting smashed? And it's because he's Rasa and he's trying to run black. Okay. Um, and also because he came with me in the building. That's another reason why they're bringing it to my attention. And just because, uh, I feel like just because my name was Warrior, honestly. But uh, that it was just going to be a smash out, that we're going to smash him right at day on recall, we're going to rush him, we're just going to keep smashing him until the, until the Udas use force. Now, my homie Kid, which is right next to me, my homie Kid, he speaks up and he was like, hey, Cobra uh, is there any way that I could go on this holiday with my boy Warrior? And uh, he's like, this is my boy, and I got 48 years, and uh, I want to do this with my boy. And, uh, and uh, they agreed. And, uh, and, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so, uh, so, uh, so my, my, my boy kid spoke up and asked if he'd go on the holiday with me. He said, this is my boy, where's my boy? Like, can I go on the holiday with him? They're like, oh, we already got, we already got a homie ready. They're like, all right, it's going to be you, kid, and the homie bouncer over there, and which was the homie that they were speaking to a little bit ago. So they called Bouncer over back to the back of the hearing with us, and they introduced, and Bouncer introduced himself. Bouncer from Southside Bakers, I introduced myself, and now it's all three of us, and uh, we're gonna be the little hit squad to smash this fool out. And uh, Bebito and Sporty and them tell us, well, make sure that you guys do not stop until they use force. And I explained to them, I explained to Bebito and Sporty and Green Eyes, like, hey man, like, this is my first term, I'm a two striker. I don't really, I mean, I just came from the county, you know, and I put in work in the county, but like, I don't know how this all works, you know? And, um, like, uh, I'm a two-striker, like, like, am I good to go with this, you know? And they're like, yeah, it's just, just don't stop until they use force. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I was, uh, I was a little nervous, you know, and, uh, but at the end of the day, I was turned up, and I was, uh, excited and ready. I was excited and ready. And, uh, so it's like five five minutes till recall. You know they give their little they give their little five minute warning to give a recall. And I now the night before I had a on the little state state shoes the little slip on shoes I had cut strings from the sheet and I had made shoelaces in my shoes. So I had tied up my shoes real tight and uh, tucked in my shirt. And as soon as they said recall, it's funny. Okay, well, rewind real quick. So after they after Rivito and then 
had uh, uh, ran down the whole highlight of me and Bouncer and Kid. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. They said they were going to get at the rep of the blacks and explain to them what was about to happen. And if they were going to have this fool's back, then they already knew what time it was on what was what the chain reaction was going to set off. You know, it was going to end up setting off a riot if you guys are going to defend this fool. So, uh, somebody's getting down. Oh, real life stuff. <laughs> You guys are getting it live right here as it happens. Yeah, yard down. They're chucking them. They're chucking them across the yard. Yeah, the hoodas are running from different buildings across the yard. Now they're getting down right now on the side, on the side of the toilets, on the side of the bathrooms. Can you see who it is? Two blacks just getting it. I don't even know who they are. Getting it in. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, well, yeah, so, uh, Bebito, Sporty, and and Green Eyes, they go up to the rep from the blacks, and they pull up to the side, to the back of the deer room, and I can see him talking to him. And you can see the rep from the blacks, he don't want no problems, like, he's shaking his head, like, they don't want nothing to do with defending this Mexican fool who just came in last night that's trying to run black, you know? (laughs) Yeah. And, uh, Bebito, Bebito, Green Eyes, and, and, and Sporty come back up to me, kid and, and bouncer, and they tell us, hey, uh, we're good to go. You know, it's good. They're, they don't want nothing to do with it. They don't want nothing to do with him. They're not going to defend him. They're not going to back him up. So when you guys move on him, don't worry. None of the blacks are going to jump, you know? Yeah. And, um, and if they do, you already know we got your back. You know, we're going to jump in, and it's going to be a riot. But do your thing. As soon as they call recall, just run towards the blacks' table and just start smashing the tool. So, um, when they call recall, and now it's crazy because in the day room, is you got two hoodas that are standing right there in the day room with us, like five foot, of, five feet away from us, you know, and then you got the gunner tower up there with the block here and the mini 14. And we have to basically rush this food right in front of the hoodas, you know, like five feet away from the hoodas. And, uh, because when they call recall, they step a little bit closer to the day room. They're like, all right, everybody get back to your cell. You know, they're trying to escort everybody back to their cell, but... We rushed this fool. As soon as, as soon as they call recall, you can see the blacks that were sitting at the table with him. They walked off fast just to get away from him. And that little area, and uh, all three of us rushed him. And uh, it's kind of hard, you know. Like it, it's a, it's when three people are smashing on one person, it's it's it's, uh, it's not a fair fight, you know. Yeah. I'm over here punching kids' shoulder on accident, you know, like trying to hit this fool in the face. I'm hitting his arm, you know, like there's too many punches being thrown at one time. And, this was done, done for. And uh, now the hood on the floor pulled out their their, their batons and their and started pepper spraying us. And they're yelling at us to get down. And uh, the initial pepper spray blast, my adrenaline is still running. But I'm thinking like, okay, they use force. Do we get down now? You know, do we stop? And I just remember Bouncer just yelling at me like, keep going, keep going, keep going. I like, don't fucking stop. Like, oh shit, okay, okay. So we kept going. And then the the, the, the tower yelled one time, get down, and then we didn't get out, he fucking let off the black gun, and he hit, it be, it hit the ground in between us, by us, and hit the tables, it bounced off near us, and then that's when we got down, boom, bounce, said, all right, get down, get down, get down, and uh, cause that's, 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 that's his first turn, Bouncer has already gone on this before, you know, this is like his second, third turn, we already knew what time it was, so, uh, I was just going off a Bouncer, you know, just yeah. following suit with whatever Bouncer said during the holiday, and, uh, as soon as he said to get down, we got down. And that's what was leaking, you know? And I ain't gonna lie, fool. I was a little paranoid thinking, like, fuck, like, am I gonna catch a third strike right now for busting this fool shit open, you know? And, uh, <laughs> but, but it is what it is, you know? I was like, fuck it, like, I don't know. I, I still had that fucking mentality, you know? Even though now I had a release date, 10 years of two strikes, I was still there for the cause, you know? And, and anyways, uh, I ain't gonna lie, boom, they came and handcuffed us, and... It, I was a little, I was like, I had a little pep in my step, you know, like, fuck yeah, like, it's my first holiday, like, I haven't even met the rest of the homies in the block, and I already went on a holiday, you know, like, I'm already walking out handcuffed with with two homies, and, and I come back to the cell, anyways, we sit in the cages all night, you know, in our boxers, and fucking, uh, go back to the block, after uh, all the paperwork 
and everything that I'm getting and, and the medical report and all that. Um, we go back to the block and my celly, I walk in the cell and my celly's like, damn fool, I didn't even know you were going to go on a holiday, you know, like, next thing I know, you're in the back of the table with your homie kid, next thing you know, I, I recall, I'm looking for you and you're over here smashing this fool. He's like, I didn't even know that you were going to go on the holiday and so he told me at recall, like, 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 yeah, you're suddenly going on the holiday. And he's like, that's right, fool, is ready, you're fucking first day here. He's like, that's a good way to start off your term, you know, that's a good way to start it off this year. By, uh, you know, he putting in work. So, I already went on my first holiday. I consider it my first day of prison, you know, but it was my second day. You know, the first day I got there, it was already nighttime, but my first, second day of program, I fucking, I did that. And, uh, it pushed my, uh, time in reception back a little bit longer, because whenever you get a write-up or you go on a holiday or get into a fire or anything, you're going to see a reception a little bit longer. I sat there for like five, six months, but uh, I ended up, when I see my counselor, my counselor told me that I was going to be going to Ironwood or Sentinella. Those were my first two choices, or my first two spots that they had me at, and uh, both level three. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. And uh, so one day, uh, my son, I shaved my head and I wanted my wife's name blasted on the side of my head. So my celly said he knew how to pitch. So we're bored in the cell and reception, you know, and uh, I'm sitting at the desk with my head in my, my lap, with, like head in my, my arms, and he has a, uh, he has me on the side of my head, picking, picking the side of my head, picking my wife's name on the side of my head. And we have about like two more letters to finish, and then they open the door, and they call my last name, and they say, roll my stuff up, I'm going to A yard. A yard is their main line level three yard. And, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm in the middle of a tattoo right now on the side of my head, and I'm about to, I'm going to A yard. Like, what the fuck? I thought I was going to Ironwood or something. And I rolled my stuff up, and I went to, well, I went to A yard. I walked across, across the, across the prison to A yard with a, a couple other homies that were in the block with me, and I hit the main line. I hit my first main line, which is Wasco A yard level three, and uh, but. Yeah, I just wanted to share that 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 that, that little experience in reception of my first holiday. Um, and there was plenty. I didn't go on any other holidays in reception, but there was a constantly, at least like once a week, a smash out a holiday all all the time because reception is like a I don't know they call it like cleaning up trash, you know, for whatever reason. People coming up from the county that has past shit affecting them or like skeletons in their closet that never caught up to them and there's constantly something always going down at reception people are constantly getting removed and they're just uh weeding through the real from the fake you know yes and, sir uh, a lot of shit went down a lot of shit went down at reception that shit was cracking but um i just wanted to share that with you guys